If you're a surgical resident and you don't have a textbook of surgery, then you are way behind the eight ball. In fact, I would go as far as to say you're just not taking it serious because score is not enough. And if you're a resident, you know what score is, right? It's not enough. Doing true learn questions and reading even the answers is not enough. And then finally, reading the random review article isn't enough. You need a textbook and you need a reading plan. So today I'm gonna to go over what I think are the five books every surgical intern and junior resident needs and even the advanced medical student who's interested in a career in surgery. Let's go. Welcome back to Citizen Surgeon. My name is Dr. Eric Pearson. I'm a pediatric surgeon. I'm passionate about education, which is why we're talking about textbooks today. Now I'm on this because recently I met with some surgical residents who didn't even use a textbook and they were already into their second year and they just didn't have a good reading plan or a way to prepare for cases. Now what's important to know about cases when you're an intern or a junior resident? You gotta know the what and you gotta know the why, all right? The what is anatomy, physiology, pathology, and the why is why we're in the operating room and why do we need to fix this? As you get further along in residency, then the how becomes more important. And you learn that after you know the what and the why. Okay, so what are the books that I recommend everybody has to have on their bookshelf so they can understand the what and the why? Well, number one, Saviston's textbook of surgery. There are a lot of different textbooks of surgery. You have Saviston's, you have Schwartz, you have Greensfields, and then you have things like Mastery of Surgery or Bailey and Love's Short Practice of Surgery. Uh, but those, I think, are for the more advanced learner. For the junior resident, for the intern, Saviston's is the perfect book. Why do I say that? Well, number one is it's updated every four years. The last edition was 2021, and we have a new edition coming out in September of 2025. Even if you were to go back as far as the 2016 edition, you could pick that up for like $50 or even less than that, and it still is a gold mine of information. So the latest edition will cost you about 200. If you check a link in the description, I have what I found are the cheapest ways to get the new edition and previous editions. So check those out. But Savistons, if you just set yourself a reading plan, begin at just page one and start going through, supplement your reading plan with service specific reading either in Savistons or maybe with that review article or with that score questions but don't just do score questions don't just do the review article you got to have this baseline information in a textbook of surgery to understand that what and that why now why is Savistons so great well number one it covers the basic science it has great clinical correlation. It has great clinical examples. And then, because it's updated, we're going to have the newest research. We're going to have chapters on advanced laparoscopy and robotics. We're also going to touch on those surgical subspecialties, which are so important. So if you're going to invest and you're going to get any textbook, Savistons is the one. And I would just put a bookmark in the first page, read 30 minutes every day, and you'll finish that book in the first year, definitely by year two, all right? And then we can get on to some of those advanced books like Mastery of Surgery or Cameron's Textbook of Surgery. We can talk about that in a different video. Well, what's the second book that I think every junior resident, well, every surgeon needs to have? Well, that is a book of anatomy. Now, there are a lot of books on anatomy. All right. Well, what do you need? You need a surgical atlas so that let's say you're scrubbing into a thoracoscopic lobectomy, say a thoracoscopic left lower lobectomy for a CPAM. You're going to be able to flip through that atlas, understand the vascular supply to the lung, understand the segmental anatomy of the lung. So when you get into the operation, 
you can know what and where to look for. Pick out a surgical atlas. In the description below, I have Netter. I think that is the most beautiful atlas. I also think it gives the most detail. There's also a photographic atlas of anatomy. I used that as a medical student. I thought that was really nice, but Netter, I think, with all of the really beautiful painted plates, and then we have these zoom up plates, which are also providing incredible detail. I think that's the one, all right? So the third book, what does every surgical resident need? I think is an atlas of operations or an atlas of surgery. Now, the best one for general surgery residents, advanced medical students interested in surgery is certainly Zollinger's Atlas of Operative Surgery, okay? You're gonna get a step-by-step -step approach for just about every operation you're gonna encounter. And when we get to the more complicated things, and that could even be an open inguinal hernia repair or a distal pancreatectomy or a Pusto procedure or a Whipple procedure, you're gonna get that step-by-step -step drawing of what the operation looks like. Now, as I've talked about before, I'm not a really big fan of thinking about operations in steps. I like to think about operations as a story, as a beginning or the setup, as a middle or accomplishing the goal, and as an end. Do we leave drains? How are we gonna close the wound, etc. So while I like to think about it as a story, when you're starting out, thinking about it in a series of steps can be extremely helpful. And I think Zollinger's Atlas of Operative Surgery is the best book for the junior surgical resident or the advanced medical student. And you can check out where I think you can get the cheapest version of that down in the description below. Okay, so the fourth and fifth book. I'm gonna leave the fifth book this is a review book. I think it's the best one out there, especially for studying for boards in the ab site. So hang on for that one. But the fourth book I think you need is certainly Marino's ICU book. All right. So if you read and understand Marino's ICU book, you are going to have a fantastic understanding of shock, of septic shock, of how to resuscitate. You're gonna understand all the basic science principles underlying management of the ICU patient. You're gonna have a deep understanding of different crystalloids. You're gonna have a deep understanding of all of the vasoactive medications. Which ones increase systemic vascular resistance? What, which ones are gonna give us more inotropy or more chronotropy? Which ones are important if we have heart failure or pulmonary hypertension? And understanding those vasoactive medications and when you can use them is incredibly important. If you understand that why, then you don't need to memorize it. You can just say, yep, I have this problem. I'm gonna use this medication as a tool to solve. And understanding the why, that is in Marino's ICU book. The other thing is looking at ventilator management and understanding pressure volume loops and how you can look at those on the ventilator and understand them and what your patient might need. You know, if oxygenation is an issue, how do we manage that? Do we look at increasing the FiO2 or increasing the PEEP? If we have a difficulty with ventilation or getting rid of CO2, understanding that we can increase the tidal volume or increase the rate to begin to offload that CO2. Understanding all the different types of ventilatory strategies that you have, like bi-level, you know? So you gotta know those. You're not gonna really learn them in a review article, but you are gonna learn them if you read a foundational textbook. And Marino's ICU book is incredible, absolute gold. I still have it on my bookshelf and I can still refer to it. And what's the last? Okay, so this last book, I think every surgery resident has to have is Stephen Pfizer's Absite Review. Now, not a huge fan of review books. I think you gotta have the source textbook, but tests are just a part of life, okay? And the Absite, doing well on the Absite is like having a get out of jail free card. Okay, so if you do well on the Absite, what does that mean? That means that you read, all right? That's all the Absite means, that you read, all right? And so, Reading that Savistin's book on a daily plan, supplementing that with Steve Pfizer's Absite Review is gonna keep you focused 
on those bullet points that are tested in the app site every year and on the written surgery boards. Again, tests are just a part of life. So use something like the app site review to keep yourself focused just as a supplement please do not use that as your main source of surgical knowledge and reading all right you gotta have the textbook how many times have i said that it's driving me crazy just thinking about it so please go get yourself a textbook all right so if you've Listen to today, you've already got onto the website and you're already shopping for these. You need Sabastins. You need an Atlas of Anatomy. You need Zollinger's Atlas of Operations. You need a good ICU book. Marino's is the one that I like the best and you need the Absite Review. If you do that, you invest in that before you start your intern year you are going to be absolute gold. Now, of course, you can't use those as paperweights. You can't use them as doorstops. You actually got to read them, all right? And read every day, 30 minutes a day. Just watch that bookmark. Go right through the book. It's just awesome. That's the secret. So if you like this today, give it a like, give it a share. Share this with somebody you know who needs to get themselves a surgery textbook. All right. Um, as always, love having you here at Citizen Surgeon. I love providing high value information. If you're a new intern, I have a great playlist, the Surgical Intern Bootcamp. All right, going over all the basic stuff. I'll also have a great playlist on wound healing. Check that out too. I think that is incredibly important for the surgical intern, the junior resident to understand. All right, until next time, stay safe, study hard. I'll see you in the comments.